key you want stability in your christian life you must receive the ministry of the body we'll have a long reading first corinthians chapter 12 we are reading from verse 12 till i ask us to stop 12 down about 26 actually the whole text is the is the entire from 12 to the end but we'll read down maybe 25 26 now please look up we are creating stability in our lives. We are going to read. For as the body is one and hath many members. Paul is teaching now. And all the members of that one body, being many, are one body. So also is Christ. Paul is teaching about the body now. Next verse. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body. Whether we be Jews or Gentiles. Another word, Anglicans, Pentecostals, Presbyterian whatever it is whether we be bond or free we have all been made to drink of what one spirit say one spirit it's one of the foundational doctrines the doctrine of baptisms one lord one faith one baptism for the body is not one member but many now paul is teaching something here he's teaching that this body we call is not just one member but many okay if the foot shall say because I am not the hand, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? He's asking a question now. And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where then is the hearing? Powerful. Paul is an intelligent man. Imagine if the whole world was koinonia you would think it would be excellent if the whole world were koinonia where will be the miles moon rose that will receive the teaching and the revelation of the kingdom from let me tell you this one of the manifestation of error and pride how you know you have deviated in a way that demands deliverance and repentance is indoctrinating yourself to believe that your ministry or your person is a sufficient representation of all that is needed to present the fullness of Christ. Any man, any woman, man of God, businesswoman, whatever, if you ever conceive that thought, it's a sign that your life is under attack. If the whole body were koinonia, where then will be the Benny Hins, the Kenneth Copelands, the redeemed church and all these places my goal is never to make every ministry koinonia my goal is to contribute my quota as far as the privilege of god's grace has been given to me to supply my own contribution to the overall body i have said this again and again and again i thank god for the privilege of balance I am not a balanced man of God just because I'm independently sound. I'm a balanced man of God because I have a heart that is open to the body. There are dimensions that are not shown me and I never would have seen no matter how close I am with God. But my genuine opening to the body has given me room to be able to look and say, wow, so there is something like this. It's not been captured in my experience. Let me study it. If the whole we're hearing where then is the smelling all these parts have distinct functions 18 but now god had set the members every one of them in the body as it has placed him believers are you seeing this now your life will never be stable if you are imbalanced doctrinally and we men of god sadly and and very 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 i say it with all due respect because of our individual complexes we carry our complexes that are as a result of our esteem of ourselves and and add our complexes into the context of ministry and make it look like it is god that is me imagine that i sit down now i say don't listen to any man of god if any koinonia person listens to any man of god aside from me you are not being loyal that's devilish 
it's a terrible doctrine i have a responsibility to guide you i have a responsibility to teach you i have a responsibility to mentor you is that true but never to sit down and lie to myself and lie to you that in myself as joshua selman i contain all the dimensions that are in god i travel around and i see dimensions in god that sometimes i stand i say wow this is amazing and i sit down to learn my god i never knew this is the reason why i love the body of christ don't carry that bias that just because it is not your church or it is not your pastor every other person who is not you is a devil and many men of god we are victims of this and the danger is that we are subconsciously raising people after that paradigm we're talking about the church in nigeria i think it was with ejimi some some weeks remember and we're discussing and and i was sharing with him how this button of ministry came down right from the samuel ajayi crowders and i was just showing him the spiritual history of the church in nigeria to this present time celebrate the body we are perfect as a body as individuals we may have our own limitations we have our own pride and prejudices and immaturity here and flesh here and imperfections here i know i understand our levels of alignment to the spirit are not the same our levels of hunger and passion for god is not the same so the results will not be the same however however it matters i was living i was living asaba yesterday and there was a dear man of god he was part of the people that came i was already late hurrying to go and catch the flight and then he requested that i just come step my feet in his church and pray i don't know him from anywhere and i said oh dear this man let me do my best and at least stand and pray for him i know what god has put in my own life i know what will happen to his church when i pray for him so it's not just because i am anointed i know that his church will never be the same you see that one of the reasons why i love dr miles munro you hear me talk about him so much not just because he's the one who mentored me in the area of the kingdom but when i started out in life and ministry i wrote letters to several men of god now i'm not offended i'm not saying they are bad because you write a letter to me i may not even get it it's, it's not the best but I mean, I do my best to make myself accessible, but sometimes it's just not possible. So I totally understand. It's not from a standpoint of sarcasm. I wrote letters to several people, several ministers, just telling them my encounters and just trying to leverage on them to make sense of my life for me. And among, there were different versions of replies, I believe, but Miles Munro wrote me handwritten handwritten and encouraged me and shared certain things signed it with his own signature and sent it from bahamas to zaria and i got it i said lord i want to be like this man whatever will make a busy man like this the largest church in bahamas a pastor of pastors an advisor of presidents to have the time to send to a young guy trying to gain his balance spiritually that's the reason why all these prayer groups and fellowships and the young people, some of you here, every time they come and say, Apostle, this is what we are doing. It doesn't matter whether they are in error or not. I love them and I embrace them. Because when I was at that level, there was no one close enough. Everybody who could listen were too far. And then they continue to say, young boys are rebellious. But who is the person that can listen and can pat their back? There is no group and no association and no group of gentlemen and women that I will not love them and hug them. If there is something that needs correction, I'll say, adjust this, 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 and just love them and bless them. I made up my mind that as God lifts me, I will never be too far that I cannot bless and help the people coming. You must receive of the body. And if they were all one member where were the body we're reading to verse 26 let's hurry up 
but now are they many members yet but one body everybody say one body say it one body many members and the eye cannot say unto the hand i have no need of thee nor again the head to the feet i have no need imagine if god started doing all those encounters producing dramatic encounters i was seeing the saints of old having visions with them yet i was poor i was broke and everything i did was poor and was broke imagine if those anointed in the body to supply that dimension i rejected them that rejection would have reflected in ministry today it would be an anointed ministry with baskets all around forcing both your neck and your hand to cough out every money in your pocket today we are able to walk in this level of integrity by the grace of god because we have received the supply of those dimensions i never started my journey with god knowing anything about finance it was the spirit life encounters visions dreams the word prayer faith i mean everything just throw yourself spiritually anything that had to do with excellence administration leadership i didn't know anything about it but bless god for the body bless god for the body nay much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary there are ministries in the body that are not on tv there are ministries in the body that are hidden and silent and the bible says those ministries are also important and those members of the body which we think to be less honorable everybody say less honorable say it again less honorable look up please this bottle of water was kept by someone imagine that your assignment on earth is to always keep water for joshua selman you will look and think that just because this is not it's not you are not shining so you see the guy who is holding the mic and preaching and talking i'm shouting right now and somebody is falling under the anointing outside and say, wow this guy we can think based on human parameters and our ways of measuring things that the person who is doing this ministry is of lesser honor no hear what the bible says upon this we bestow more abundant honor and our uncomely parts have more what abundant comeliness that means your heart that you cannot see can stop your leg that you can see from walking your brain that you cannot see have you seen a madman whose body is complete yet he's mad because something that should not be touched in his head was touched say amen just because one one molar has a problem an adult it will force your eyes to shed tears it will force your legs to run around because you are worried just because one tiny teeth has a problem that means there are ministries we are ignoring in the body what this woman who has just a small prayer house she just prays for people and writes the names of men of god let's leave this sofa head woman let's go to koinonia where things are happening and you leave the woman whereas you don't know joshua selman is standing today because that woman is kneeling down you see that oh lord help him let the revelation be fresh upon him lord help him there are people who pray for me as a ministry i'm not talking they they believe they are called by god thank god for the prayer department but there are people i know some of them they believe that their assignment in life is to intercede for me and i don't joke with those people when people send me a text and say apostle i just prayed for you no matter how busy I, I do my best to at least if i cannot sow into their lives i cannot pray for them or i pray back for them or just try to do something to make them um, feel honored for what they have done 24 for our comely parts sensitive parts have no need but god had tempered the body together having given more abundant honor to that part which which lacked 25 that there should be no chism in the body 
but that the members should have the same care one for another prayer ministry care for the prosperity ministry prophetic ministry care for the apostolic ministry are we together leadership ministry care for the man of god who all he knows is how to heal the sick and preach he doesn't know how to put an excellent organogram make your ministry available provided he's ready to receive it the bible says but as many as received him meaning he can be rejected there are churches you go to you see the power of god but there's a lot of misbehavior i can be preaching now sam come i can be preaching and a member will just run and come and touch my head and go back to sit down what kind of indiscipline is that are we together all in the name of excitement no the house of god is not a, a cinema uh, uh, hall neither is it a place for movies and circles it's a place where lives are changed when you see that it doesn't stop the power of god from flowing but you will know that a dimension of the ministry of the body has not been received or some i'm preaching and someone squeezes one thousand naira and throws it to me is that how to sow is that how you sow corn <laughs> you sow corn with respect and dignity ask any farmer you throw maize like that you don't come after four months to get a harvest Say in the name of Jesus, I receive the ministry of the body of Christ. Say in the name of Jesus, I love the body of Christ. And I receive the diverse ministries of the body. Let me advise every man of God here, you are a pastor, you are a spiritual leader of any sort. Never use your pulpit as a platform. To tear another man's ministry i repeat never use your pulpit as a platform to tear another man's ministry because you are sowing a seed that will grow must grow i don't want anybody talking against me and talking against anybody serving here and i will not sow that seed i will challenge wrong doctrines but i will never find myself stand and tear down see imagine for instance um um just come sam imagine come imagine that these guys are laboring and doing their work and just because of one or two mistakes in their lives i just come and push everybody aside to show that i am joshua selman i'm destroying them what does this guy go and tell his wife our ministry is going down why joshua selman tore down your ministry this guy i tear people down and i stand you don't have to cut the head of people to show you are tall if you are tall you are tall please i want you to learn this that in the name of jesus you will zip your mouth from talking against men of god talking against their wives talking against churches don't do that are we together now don't go around ah, this man of god's wife this man of god this one now we are not perfect people in ourselves it's true and different ministries have their different dimensions of god uh, and there are the truth is that there are things to correct in almost every ministry there is something to adjust there is something to correct so the observations may be justifiable but it's still not enough reason to tear people I have preached everywhere from Anglican to Catholic to Cherubim and Seraphim to um, Presbyterian, Equa, Cochin, Pentecostal. I mean, just name it. I'm for the body. I love you. I never show any, where are you? Are you for who? Are you for us or no? I would not do that devilish thing. In this ministry, there are people who are a, a product of different churches and different places now let me tell you this you don't have to agree with a man or a doctrine to love are you getting what i'm saying now it, just because i accept the body does not mean i accept every doctrine there are doctrines that are obviously wrong i have my convictions there are doctrines that you will never hear from this pulpit 
because as far as the responsibility of your spiritual growth as given to me under god is concerned i will do my best to present to you the most accurate and balanced portrait of spiritual truth however i will not just go and meet someone who maybe has a problem with the baptism of the holy spirit or has a problem with deliverance or has a problem with healing and then fight the person don't make that happen this is one of the mistakes that I see happening, especially among younger ministers, because we are all young. Younger ministers. Sometimes I look at them and I see them training themselves to resent. Oh, you are Anglican. No, I won't. I'm serious with God. You are what? You are from. Mm, don't do that. I love people regardless of if i don't agree with you on many grounds when we meet we discuss the areas we agree we agree about the growth of nigeria we agree about the fact that this country must go places we agree about the fact that the poor and the needy need help these are areas that we agree on why bring a sensitive and touchy area it's one wisdom key you may receive when you are in the midst of people who don't exactly agree with you, be careful. You may want to bring subjects that are generally agreeable. Are we together? Is God speaking to us? Thank you, guys. Say, in the name of Jesus, I receive grace to receive the ministry of the body. I'm a product of many anointings. And by the grace of God, these anointings have contributed to making my life what it is today. When I travel to different places and people try to honor me as against other preachers in that land, I, I come against that, that honor immediately. Don't do that. Don't honor me at the expense of other men of God. I've shared with you my story how that once upon a time I traveled to a particular place for administration and um, the media people or so came to do an interview for me. And you know, they were making it look like the men of God in the city were just doing nonsense. Now that apostle has come, I said, no, 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 don't do that. I have only come as a contributor to strengthen the hands of of the men and the women there imagine how healing it will be for you as a pastor when you hear another pastor says i've come to strengthen your hands years ago when we wanted to organize a crusade uh in 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 in, in massacre i remember when the pastors were doing you know i was presenting it before the pfn there many of the pastors were feeling look they said some of them said if you are coming to open a church just say it because many people have done what you have done. They will come and say crusade. We will labor and give our speakers. As soon as they finish, they just appoint your keyboardist is now your usher. The other person is now a prayer band member. You just share people's members. Say, just tell us. And I laughed. I said, no, I'm for the body. I don't hate the body. And that's what we did there. Throughout that crusade, it was honor for the body all through. Praise the Lord. You must love the body of Christ. I love Equa, I love Cooking, I love Baptist, I love Living Faith, I love MFM, and name them. I love everyone. For as long as there is one person in that circle that names the name of the Lord, regardless of the individual imbalances, if God were to walk just on our perfection, then all of us will not have a ministry. Every house, in a great house, regardless of the vessels, the house is still great. Uh -huh.